Courtney. What do you mean by armed forces? Do you mean specifically U.S. or does that did also mean the YPG? Because we, it was our understanding that after those in, that initial round of strikes by the regime last week that the Americans left, but the U.S. continued to fly caps for a matter of days. So who, what do you mean by our forces? Does that extend to the YPG? Um, or were we wrong that the Americans did not leave? I'm going to, I'm referring specifically to uh, coalition forces that are on the ground. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to discuss specifics. Americans then, non-Americans, right? Our, our forces that you're, because you've used that term over and over and over. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's unreasonable to ask for a clarification on what you mean by our forces. That includes non-Americans fighting with or, or, you know, with the U.S., with the coalition. There are forces on the ground that we've been working with that are fighting ISIL. We'll continue to provide support to those forces. You know, there are uh, our own coalition forces on the ground, and we'll continue to defend those forces on the ground, particularly as they conduct their partnered operations. Because so ha in Hasaka, after the Americans left, after the initial round of airstrikes by the Syrians, the U.S. continued to fly caps over the area to discourage the Syrian regime from additional strikes on the YPG that were there. So. That would mean those caps were flown to protect the YPG, non-Americans who were there on I'm the ground. Gonna, I'm not going to. It's a simple. I mean, it's, I'm it's not, not going to discuss not where our forces are at this moment in I'm time. Not you to. And I'm we're going to continue to provide support uh, and provide defensive support, in particular, to forces on the ground uh, engaged in the ISIL fight, and particularly in those forces that are uh, partnered up with the uh, coalition forces. So, and, and why why can't you say whether the U.S. is continuing to fly caps over that area? We, I mean, I, for, several gonna, days, uh, for several days we were told, I mean, you, mm -hmm. you should understand if, if someone tells us something for several days in a row and then just refuses to say it, you can understand why that, that raises a question in our minds. So, so why is it? Is it well, suddenly a force protection question? The question should be answered that we are going to provide uh, air cover and air support to our forces on the ground. Um, where they may be. We're not going to disclose where they are at any particular time. We did indicate that they were in that particular area, had been operating there previously, and uh, that's why we provided that particular warning for that area. But I'm not going to disclose where our forces are in Syria at any particular time. I'm asking you to, but again, we were told last week, and correct me if mm -hmm. I'm wrong or we were all wrong, I but we were not told here that. Last week, so. I know, I know. But we were told that the Americans, after the initial round of strikes, the Americans left, mm -hmm. yet the U.S. continued to fly caps. So I don't, again, I don't understand why you can't tell us whether the Americans are continuing to fly caps there. I, 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 what is it? What, what is the reason? Is it because the Americans are back on the ground? Is that what the concern is? Or uh, I'm, I'm not going to get into all of our uh, air patrols, our missions, uh, sorties at this moment in time. Uh, and I'm certainly not going to describe where our forces are on the ground for understandable reasons. And we'll continue to provide uh, support and pr continue to protect our forces and their partnered operations on the ground. And, and I, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't be more specific, yeah, but I don't want to divulge some of that information. If, if you tell us something, if we were told a, a, a fact day after day, it's like if, if, if every single day you tell us exactly how many troops are in Afghanistan, and then one day you just refuse to say it, you can understand why that, that raises a question in our minds of why. Well, and we're going to do what we can to protect our forces. And I'm not asking you to put the okay. forces in danger, I'm just asking you to be consistent. If you're going to provide us information, that we're, then explain fly, why you can't. Well, you know, we fly uh, missions in a range of areas in, in Syria, uh, including in that area. So it would not be unusual for us to continue flying uh, sorties over that area. That We've raises, raises the question even more why you wouldn't acknowledge if you're continuing to fly caps there. But, okay, fine. We're going to just um, headbutt on this one. So okay. can you talk about uh, Gerablis then? Uh, what is what is going on there? And uh, the Turks announced today that they've, they've conducted a bunch of strikes, some artillery strikes. And they say that they're hitting at ISIS militants, but also some YPG. Um, what is the, the U.S. military's understanding of what's going on there? Are the YPG being struck by the Turks? And uh, I'll leave it to the Turks to describe their military activities. I know that ISIL uh, is certainly present in Gerablis, and uh, this is a, a critical spot on the Turkish border. It's been an area that's been of concern, of course, because of the foreign fighter flows. And so the... Uh, anything that puts pressure on ISIL anywhere in Syria, but particularly in an area like that that is of such significance, is, uh, is important. And, and we want to see ISIL uh, ejected and removed from as many parts of Syria as possible, including there. They've also been striking YPG there, with the same YPG that the U.S. was protecting last week. So is there any U.S. military outreach to the Turks? Any concern about the fact that they're hitting a U.S. Ally who the U.S. is working on the ground with in other areas. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it to the to the Turks to describe their operations and what their goals are. But the focus uh, should be, in our view, 
uh, the fight against ISIL and targeting ISIL, and uh, from what we've seen, that's been happening. But again, is the U.S. military concerned that the U.S. partner, the YPG, are being struck in Drabalus right now? Is there any concern by the U.S. on that? Our concern and focus uh, remains ISIL and doing everything we can to target ISIL and to keep the focus on ISIL, uh, including making sure that the efforts of, of forces on the ground uh, stay laser focused on ISIL itself and not uh, uh, concern that the YPG were being struck in Hasaka but not in Jarablus? Is that the concern? Um, or is it who's doing the striking? Our concern, uh, Courtney, is, is ISIL and the fact that ISIL is present in Jarablus and any other part of Syria, any other part of Iraq, is continues to be our concern. And our focus will be to try and shape efforts uh, focused exclusively on, on ISIL, and we're going to continue to do that. Bill. I 